it gets very powerful. So most people say urea. <laughs> and that sounds less like a powerful man as much as a powerful transmitted disease. It's funny being in Santa Barbara though. Santa Barbara is one of those towns that are so white. Other white people cross the street to get away from each other. <laughs> And then dive to the nearest winery. Oh no, this is just all white people. We all hear you. Please shut the fuck up. That's my dad, everybody. Boy, I'm the most supportive of my art. I'm doing a wine tasting. And you don't know what a wine tasting is, it's a white privilege safari. <laughs> Wait, what do you do next? Paddleboard? <laughs> Which is basically just a kayak if you gentrify it. <laughs> and we can complain about some issues that don't affect us. Solve them on Facebook. Hey guys, I got 14 likes. I think I solved everything. But it's great, I'm actually having uh, just my uh, two year anniversary of being a stand up comedian. <laughs> and to celebrate, I moved out of my parents' place and into the garage. <laughs> yeah, I wish there wasn't a car in there and a pack of raccoons. <laughs> But if, at this point, if I would have said that I'll be gracing the same stage as Jimmy O. Yang, I would have said, hey, yeah, you're crazy. But this is the story that led me here. Uh, before I started comedy, I was going through one of those breakups that are so bad, you start to enjoy your job. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, that was at a call center. <laughs> Center at a cable company in Canada. I enjoyed it so much, I started to wear a tie to work. As if that would hide the fact that I'm going to work drunk. You know, there's something off about urea. I did get it done, it's not. So I ended up going on a voluntary, mandatory leave of absence. A little bit of word play there. And I'm going down to Portland, and I gotta tell you what, I stay at a hostel, and they're great to stay at when you're lonely. I don't know why I made eye contact with you when I said that. <laughs> Hostels are great to stay at when you're lonely, because you're guaranteed to sleep with at least 20 people. <laughs> I know it's right up to you at a comedy show, but I should give this a shot, wrote some jokes, got some laughs, loved it so much, I quit my job, because I was raised by Disney, you don't need money to go for your trips. <laughs> I jumped in my 1992 Honda Civic with 348,000 kilometers on it. It's like a million miles for you guys. <laughs> I mean, the map it might check out. The rest of the world knows if it does. <laughs> you guys don't. <laughs> so I was driving, heading over my spade it all the way down to Las Vegas, and then my car broke down. They say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. In this case, it was my car, my dreams. I think I'm the first person to ever go down there, not gamble, and still leave on the Greyhound. I don't like your ride winding up Triple A. I did, I the Canadian version. And so when uh, three Canadians get out and fight over who's going to help you. <laughs> Triple A. <laughs> don't know if that's the smartest joke I've ever wrote. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm still waiting on that Triple A sponsorship. Though. Still up riding the Greyhound. Uh, have you guys rode the Greyhound before? Yeah. Yeah. So now the reaction you're going to get, an applause break for a Greyhound. Uh, uh, security! <laughs> Greyhound is basically the cards against humanity of travel. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
don't know if you're gonna get stabbed, and if you do, you're like, at least I can get the fuck off this greyhound. <laughs> Uriah, what happened? Yeah, I stabbed myself. <laughs> You guys have been fantastic. I'm just one last joke. I was rolling for another day. Yeah! <laughs> that was very surprising. <laughs> I was rolling a plane because I'm uh, single, I guess. <laughs> that line normally works a lot better when someone does it go, woo! <laughs> Dislocating my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I didn't fall down. The entire community of Santa Barbara saw what I was doing and beat the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm Amy Robinson. Thank you. <laughs>